n'ai pas fait péché. Je n'ai pas de douleur, mon Dieu, mon Seigneur. Mais si je suis malade, je n'ai pas de douleur, mon guérison, mon Seigneur. Comme je n'ai pas de douleur, je n'ai pas de douleur, mon Seigneur. Mais en tant que garçon, je n'ai pas de douleur, mon femme, mon Seigneur. Lui, c'est la dame qui joue un oasis. Et oasis, c'est où C'est où qui m'a aimé La vie m'a fait un autre sens, je dis. Mais elle n'a pas de sens. Je ne veux pas comme tout le monde pour toujours. Je ne veux pas dire que c'est la première femme qui m'a aimé. Même quand j'ai affirmé que c'est la première qui fait me tourner. Qu'on n'a pas qu'à aimer et vers où l'amour ça a qu'à retourner. Je dis à la Dieu qui est aussi une vie sur moi tout. Mais, pas qu'elle m'a. Can you please state your name for the record? Norelia Natasha Serfin. Now, Norelia, I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay? Um, how old are you? Fifteen. Fifteen. And how do you feel about your father? I love my daddy. Okay, okay. And do you feel as if your father loves you? Norelia? Yeah, I think so. Can you answer the question, please? Yes or no? Yes, he loves me. Then, how many times has he hit you? Objection! Objection, you! Of the rules, sit down, counselor. Now, Noelia, please answer the question. A couple times. If I don't do my homework, if I'm on the phone, if I cut school, and if I come home late. Thank you. Counselor, do you wish to cross-examine the witness? No, Your Honor. You may step down. Please state and spell your name for the court. Totano, what's the name of the name of the tribunal? Oh, oh. Bon. Ou fait finir pété nom et puis on m'a des noms toujours. C'est des années que j'ai depuis ma montée de San Boris. Yo tout connaît nom déjà oui. Tout en haut, c'est comme ça la gare là. Chaque fois venir c'est la fois dix neuf il faut répéter. Oh, yo fait manger manger bien. What is the problem? You forgot his name? Non, non, sir. Tout en haut, dis moi qu'est-ce qu'on a continué. Bon, ok. Moi, moi les tontons non vous pour. Je vous Order, order in the court. Get to vivant, Seraphin. That's my name. Bon, Madame Chef Section, encore pour moi. Si non, il y a pour une grosse, pour qui monte donc à ses habits. Mais plus encore. Si non, il y a un contest. The court will take a five-minute recess. Counselors, in my chamber now. Tidy la. Counselor, I suggest that you speak to your client, informing him that this is a court of law, and that he's supposed to respect the court and to answer the questions as as they are being asked, without any further outburst. I will not have my court made into a mockery. It would behove him to respect the court and lower his voice. Any more behavior of that sort. He will be found in contempt of the court, and a fine will be levied upon him. Is that clear? Yes, Your Honor. Let's go. How long has Noelia been in treatment for? Four years. Four years. Good. And what's her most recent diagnosis? Noelia suffers from an illness called oppositional defiant disorder mostly referred to as ODD. Mr. North, <laughs> Mr. North, you are in contempt of the court, and I fine you $700. Oh. Counselor, you may proceed. Can you please elaborate for us? 
a little bit? Well, ODD is a disorder in which children ignore or defy adults' requests and rules. They often lose their temper. They tend to argue a lot with adults. They tend to blame others for their mistakes or misbehaviors. Okay. Now, if you had to describe Norelia, how would you do it? She's a sweet and caring young lady. That was all, Your Honor. I think I've heard enough. Counselors, are you ready with your closing arguments? Yes, yes Your Honor. Honor. Your Honor, the state has provided sufficient evidence as to Mr. Serafin's emotional, physical, and mental abuse of his daughter. Throughout this entire case, throughout this whole proceeding, Mr. Serafin has been unable to control himself, been unable to control his tantrums. He's short-tempered. The defense attorney would have you believe that this is just a cultural gap, that this is just the way children are brought up in Haiti. But this is the United States. And in the United States, we do not whip our children for not doing their homework. In the United States, we don't whip our children for going out. The law of this country does not allow the mental, the physical, and emotional abuse of a child. It's disturbing to see a man inflict such harsh treatment on his child. It would be a disgrace to this court, to the Department of Children and Families, and to the United States if we allow Mr. Serafin to continue to abuse his child. The state humbly requests that the court terminate Mr. Serafin's parental rights. Is it in the best interest of Ms. Serafin that she is no longer placed with her father, but remains in the custody of the Department of Children and Families. Thank you, Your Honor. Your Honor. The physical removal from home is extremely traumatic for a child, and it creates uh, an emotional instability. In this case, this is exactly what happened to Norelia. Norelia was a great A student, and she showed a great deal of respect toward her parents and friends. By being in and out from foster care and group home, Norelia cut classes, and she even tried drugs. Terminating the Seraphine's parental rights would be inhuman. Your Honor, this family, they need each other to survive. And they did all the necessary efforts relating to preserving and reunifying their family. It would be irrational to, to try to, to tear them apart. Your Honor, it's the same thing you could have your own children, a niece, a nephew, or the, the, the neighbor's kid. How would you feel if that kid was snatched away from you? I think it would be detrimental to both you and this child, would it not? Therefore, Your Honor, I place the fate of this family onto your own hands. Thank you. The court will reach a verdict by Tuesday morning. Court adjourned. All rise. The court is no longer in session. <laughs>